The root mean square speed is an extremely common mistake in A-level physics. Have a look at this problem. The mass of a gas molecule is 4.8 times 10 to the power of minus 26 kilograms. Part one, find the root mean square speed of the gas molecules at 250 degrees Celsius. In order to tackle this problem, we need to use the equation that the energy of a single molecule is equal to three halves multiplied by Boltzmann's constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin. Now we can express the kinetic energy as just a half times the mass times the root mean square speed squared. So let's just call that RMS and then I am going to square that value. So now I'm just going to cancel out the halves and I'm just going to rearrange for the RMS. So the RMS squared will be equal to 3 times Boltzmann's constant times T divided by the mass M. And also let's square root everything. And what we're going to get is that the RMS speed will be equal to the square root of 3 times 1.3 3a times 10 to the power of minus 23 multiplied by the temperature, which is just 523. Divide that by the mass of a single molecule, which is 4.8 times 10 to the power of minus 26. That's going to give me around 670 meters per second. Now have a look at part two. Calculate the internal energy of 1.3 moles of the gas at 250 degrees Celsius. So this is the expression of the kinetic energy of a single particle. All we need to do to tackle this problem is to find how many particles there are and then multiply it by that expression. Because we're dealing with 1.3 moles, well, using Avogadro's number, we can figure out the number of particles. So I'm going to say the 1.3 moles multiplied by Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is equal to 7.83. 3 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. Now the total internal energy will be this number, let's call it n, let's call it n, multiplied by the energy of a single particle, which is 3 halves k times t, meaning that the total internal energy will just be equal to 7.83 multiplied by 10 to the power of 23 multiplied by Boltzmann's constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the power of minus 23. Let's not miss out the factor of three halves and let's multiply by the temperature in Kelvin, which is 523. And if we put this into a calculator, we're going to get around 8,000 500 joules up to two significant figures. Thermal physics is both fun and incredibly important. And if you feel like you need to revise thermal physics, you absolutely need to have a look at my revision video, in which I cover most of thermal physics. And this video is just over here.